the latest on Elizabeth Smart. She and her family say justice has been done now that the man who held her captive and sexually abused her for nine months has been convicted of all charges. We're going to talk to her father, Ed Smart, in just a moment. But first, Whit Johnson has the story of the trial that ended on Friday. Well, Harry, it's been eight long years for the Smart family, eight years since Brian David Mitchell broke into their home and kidnapped Elizabeth at knife point. The jury deliberated just five hours before declaring Mitchell guilty, a verdict likely to guarantee a life sentence. Elizabeth Smart's abductor, Brian David Mitchell, sits behind bars awaiting his sentencing in May. He will almost certainly face a lifelong prison term for kidnapping and sex crimes against the then 14-year-old girl. Elizabeth says she is relieved by the swift verdict. I hope that not only is this an example that justice can be served in America, but that it is possible to move on after something terrible has happened. I'm so thrilled with the verdict. But not only that, I'm so thrilled to stand before the people of America today and give hope to other victims who have not spoken out about their crime, about what's happened to them. Doesn't she glow? I, it, today's uh, such a wonderful day. The month-long trial was a gut-wrenching ordeal. Mitchell was kicked out of court for loudly singing religious prayers. Elizabeth and family members had to listen as those nine months of captivity were retold. There is a way to put those people behind us and that we can move forward with our lives. At times, the trial was too much to bear. Elizabeth stormed out of court early this month during the defense team's testimony, and she had to relive her abduction on the stand, which she did with stoic bravery. I, I think the hardest part of coming in here was worrying about Elizabeth having to testify. And as a father, I was so grateful for her to be able to say what she had to say and put that behind her. Elizabeth will soon travel to France to complete a Mormon church mission, then return to college in Utah to earn a music degree. Her message for now is one of vindication. We can speak out and we will be heard. Mitchell's defense attorneys have not yet decided whether to appeal the guilty verdicts. His sentencing is set for May 25th. Harry. Witt, thank you. 